brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're gonna be working on our 2001 Ford Ranger. We're gonna show you how to remove and reinstall the instrument cluster or instrument panel. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this truck as well as many other makes and models. And if you ever need parts for your vehicle, please follow the link in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. Remove the three seven millimeter bolts along the top side of your dash bezel with a socket and ratchet. Remove the two seven millimeter screws on the center trim bezel below the radio. We're going to use a small flat blade screwdriver with some tape on it to keep from marring our dash surface. Let's pry out on this center trim panel. Reach back and disconnect all of the electrical connectors. The antenna pops right back and out. This last connector for the four-wheel drive selector is going to have to be pried up on with our flat blade screwdriver. Remove this seven millimeter bolt that was covered by our center dash panel. Remove the four seven millimeter bolts, one here two below the hood release, and one all the way by our left foot using a seven millimeter socket and ratchet. Slide the knee pan forward toward you to release the hooks and remove it from the vehicle. Remove this seven millimeter bolt through the access hole in this steel reinforcement behind the knee pan. Remove these three eight millimeter bolts using a socket and ratchet. Pull back the knee panel. We'll remove this last seven millimeter bolt. Now we're going to put our column all the way down if you have a tilt option. Put the key in. Shift the vehicle to first gear to get a little more room around the stick. Pull out on the dash and lift up. Using a flat blade screwdriver, remove this electrical connector for the interior dimmer switch. Push down on the tab, release the other connector from the headlight switch. Shift the truck back into park and remove your key. Remove the two seven millimeter screws on each side of the gauge cluster for a total of four, we're going to use a seven millimeter socket, a long extension, and a ratchet. Once the bolts are out, carefully remove the gauge cluster from the dash. Disconnect the electrical connectors.
Lift up on the tab on the bottom right in the middle of the gauge cluster. We'll lift up and pull out there. There's another tab in front of the cable on the left side. We'll lift up and slide out as well. This removes the gear range selector and allows us to remove our instrument cluster enough to release the last connector, take it out of our truck. Reinstall the electrical connections on the back of the instrument panel. You may have to install the range selector at the same time. All of these parts just click back into place. Then we'll lay it back in. All of the black seven millimeter interior screws we've removed throughout this process are the same. So we'll reinstall them into the instrument panel. So we'll shift our truck down into first gear again. So we can lay our dash panel back in. When you get pretty close to getting it lined up, take a second to reconnect the electrical connectors for both the headlight switch and the interior dimmer switch. Lay the upper dash panel back into place. You'll see the metal clips and their holes. Line them up, snap them back in. Shift the truck back into park, remove your key. Reinstall the gold seven millimeter screw in the top right corner of that upper dash panel. We install the three black seven millimeter screws into the top of the dash panel just before the instrument cluster. Reconnect the four wheel drive selector connector. Reconnect the cigarette lighter. There's two wires there. Reconnect the radio harness, the antenna, the fog light switch, and the AC power outlet connector. Push the center panel back into place. Then reinstall the two seven millimeter screws at the bottom of the panel. Reinstall the two seven millimeter screws at the bottom of the upper dash panel. Reinstall the three screws for the steel knee pan. Tighten them up with an eight millimeter socket and ratchet. Snap in the top of the plastic knee pan. Reinstall the four seven millimeter screws along the bottom. Remember to reinstall the hood release and the two screws that go in there. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, 
please visit 1aauto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.